There's a reason why running shoes are mesh, and that's because it allows for air to flow through and dry out your feet as you're running. Okay, so, so I remember years ago, now that you're saying this, I remember years ago we used to have those all yes. leather, the all leather Reebok high top, Marty McFly. Yes. yes. So Stay those are a no-go. Okay. Your okay. boots, they're going to be all leather, right, right. but running shoes, try to make those as meshy as possible. Okay, so we want some airflow going through that sneaker yes. as we're running to give our foot some, some room to breathe. Absolutely. Some air. Yes. Very good. So anything else that you want to mention? I would say a lot of times people have a pair of shoes that looks tremendously new. Um, they've had it for two years. It's been in their closet. It's been under their bed. As soon as the foam in a shoe is blown and created, it starts to break down. So a shoe is designed to break down completely after about 20 years. If you've had a pair of shoes under your bed for two years, that foam is not going to be as efficient as you can. One of the tricks that we like to uh, tell people to do is looking at the age of their shoe. If you take your shoe and you can bend it in half like this, it means your shoe is too old um, and the foam isn't supportive enough oh, right. for a lot okay. of long runs. Yes. Okay. So you want to make sure you can't make a taco out of right. your shoe. Um, you want to have some structure and foam left in there. Shoes are good for about three to 500 miles. Most people, that's six to nine months of activity. Even if you just wear your shoes running around like during the day, if you're going for 10,000 steps a day, that's five miles. So that, whether you're walking or running, five miles is five miles. Right. That shoe will last you six to nine months. So even if the outside looks great, right. the inside no, is especially for running. And if you want to set yourself up for success, good pair of shoes before you come in. Treat your feet right. Now, should they be going to the store? Should these recruits or potential candidates be going to the store, buying a pair of shoes, and then running a marathon in them? Or should they be taking some time to break that shoe? Yeah, so as high tech as the materials are these days, they don't need you know, months to be broken in. They do need a, a couple runs. My favorite break-in strategy is get your new shoes and wear them around the house for a couple days. Wear them outside, you know, just walk around in them, break them in, get them your feet used to them. One of the big things about a new pair of shoes is not the, the foam on the shoe, but how the upper fits around the foot. Okay. So your foot kind of needs to mold itself. So grow out the toe box a little bit, stretch it out a little bit, make sure the heel is nice and comfortable. So the first couple days of wearing a shoe, it might not feel incredible, but your foot should kind of create that mold and make it feel good. After you've worn the shoe for a couple of days around the house, take it for some light jogs, then you should be ready to go. Okay, so I didn't realize that. So we don't need to go out and run in them right away to break Correct. them in. We can just walk Square around. Square them around. Yeah, break them Make in. Make your so foot imprint in them.